different type of auctions. We generally have auction called reverse auction. What is reverse auction? It is a standard okay. When we go to any sale. For example, bank is doing an auction of their payment defaulted properties. It could be properties or it could be valuable. Whatever it is. So what will happen? Bank will give a lowest price. So what is the amount that they need to collect from the defaulters? That is the amount bank is expecting, and then they go for an auction. So obviously the price of that item is generally lower than the market. So what will happen? All the bidders will be in the same place, one place, and they start with the bidding. They will say, for example, an item which pays 1 lakh rupees. Then, whatever the next, the bidders will be given an option to put a higher bid. One will say 110,000, 120,000. So whoever gives the highest bid, they will be given the bid now. In this scenario we are going to, from the banker's side, you think that they're selling the item. The price is increasing. That is a normal auction scenario. When we come to buying side, buying side, we are a buyer, so we want our prices to be reduced. So, for example, you want to buy one example, for example, a laptop, laptop, 50,000 rupees. So when someone is giving you 45,000, we want to get that from that business. Maybe, for example, Amazon and Flipkart. One is giving 45,000 and another is giving 44,000. Obviously, we'll go for lesser price. So here the behavior is, wherever the prices has reduced, we are tempted to buy, or we are buying that item so that we can save more. So similarly in business also, when you want to buy something, you expect the prices to lower. So that is generally called reversing of the prices. Prices are lower, so this is basically useful for buying activity. If a template which does not mention what is the auction type, then that is called reverse auction in Ariba environment. If it is for, if they mention forward auction, that means it is basically to sell something. We use the forward auction and price will increase from the builders. And under reverse auction price will. So under reverse auction price will decrease. So price will decrease from sellers. Now again in auctions, we have two types, three types of auction. If nothing is mentioned, which is a standard auction, which is called reverse auction, is a English format. Then we also have two different formats. One is Dutch auction and Japanese auction. Okay, so, as I mentioned, the format, which is a standard auction, is called reverse auction. It is nothing but English. Reverse auction. Whereas Dutch reverse auction. What will happen? Initial price is low price automatically rises. Once a player access the price, the event will close. Suppliers are motivated to accept the listed price. So, in this scenario, what will happen? You're going to start your event at 8 o'clock. Okay, and you're going to decide the time interval. So you're going to decide the time interval, or time 10, and your price will be lowest. 
what will happen? Here I'm going to keep OK. In normal reverse auction you're going to start 10,000. Another supplier gives a price of 9,900. Someone will go 9,800. It will keep on go. At one stage 9,500, one supplier bidded. So for example, supplier C has bidded. Supplier C, bidded for 9,500. You know that this is an item price, which is a 9,500 from the market. You are able to get it 9,500. So now I want to conduct Dutch reverse auction. So this is the price which I can expect from my seller. What I'm going to give. I'm going to give my starting price is 8,500. At 8 o'clock, I will give this price. So at 10 minutes of interval, at 810, the price will go to 8,750, for example. At 8.20, so I'm keeping it 10 minutes of interval. 820. What will happen? The price of an item automatically increases for the bidder. At 8.30, the price will increase to 950. At 8.40, the price will go to 9,500. In this scenario, supplier A, supplier B, Supplier C, all are watching these prices. So they do not in this round. They're watching the prices. 8,500. Obviously no one will able to supply at that price, which is very lower than what is expected. So, in this reverse auction, what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep my line item prices very, very low, which supplier will not be able to provide. Then I gradually increase the price so that one of the suppliers can accept it. So similarly at 810. At every interval the price increases. And at 830. Maybe the supplier B says he can purchase this item. He will bid it. Bid is nothing, but he will select that item automatically, even will close, and the price is maintained as 8,000, 9,250. This is called Japanese, sorry, Dutch, reverse auction. Okay, now let's see Japanese auction. The same concept here. What will happen? At 8 o'clock, 8, 9, so here the price will start from 10,000. Then it will reduce to 9,000. I'll just take here, the interval is 10 minutes and I'm going to reduce the price by 100. 9,900. 9,800, 9,700, 9,600, 9,500. Here I'm not deciding the timing and all what I'm going to maintain when I'm running this event. I'm going to give my lowest price and I'm going to decide what is the time interval. These two only. I will enter time interval, 10 minutes. Bid amount, bid amount, 100. So system will calculate and keeps on, reduces the amount until one supplier. So here what will happen? At this stage, supplier A, supplier B, supplier C. In Dutch auction. They just monitor only. They will be waiting and as soon as they can able to supply a price, they will bid it and they will get the business. So then, immediately, the event will close, 
so that others will not get any opportunity to move forward. The event will close at bidder. Who selects the bidding? In this case supplier A, B, C, they need to accept the price. Okay, they can able to supply at a price of 10,000. 